Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Today I am participating in the Hocus Pocus three-part challenge that's being hosted by Crafty Kitty. She's asked us to put together a series of three videos having to do with Halloween. And this is my first video for that series. Please check out Crafty Kitty's channel as well as the playlist of the other participants, which I'll have linked in the description box down below when it's available. Also, if you're new to my channel, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. So I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. And now to let you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to revamp one of my decor items. The first part of the challenge is to do a DIY or a revamp of an existing item. The second part of the challenge is to do a Halloween treat. And then the third part is to display those items in a tablescape. So for this video, you are going to see me revamp my item. I look forward to hearing what you have to say about it, and I'll see you on the other side. So here is a serpentine candelabra that I have uh, used in my outdoor decorating all summer, but I am going to bring it inside. And I have this spray of fall leaves and berries I've had for many years and I bought it at the same time I bought the serpentine candelabra. It was from a store called Tall Mouse that doesn't exist anymore, but they were a local craft store in Orange County. And I did get them to go together and I usually intertwine this spray with the serpentine candelabra. And I often leave it just like that, but this year, because I think I'm going to put this on the coffee table in our family room, I am going to go ahead and pull in some of the Dollar Tree flowers that I've been using in my other arrangements and add those to this spray for part of my fall decorating. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So for this DIY, I want it to work for both fall and Halloween, so I'm not making it specifically Halloween. The first thing I did was to find the center of my candelabra since it has seven candles. The fourth one is the middle one. And now I'm just zip tying it to the candelabra. A lot of the time I just have put it in here without zip tying it, but the branches tend to come off of the centerpiece. So I want it to be a little more stable since I'm adding some florals to it and some pumpkins since it will be for Halloween. So I want to make sure that it's attached to the candelabra and won't move around. Here I am just snipping the florals into separate pieces and I only had one of this particular pick so I was separating it out. Then I had some of these oak leaves left over and some of the white chrysanthemums that I've used in some of my other displays. And I'm just trying to arrange them primarily around the very center of the swag to create a focal point. Now I'm taking some of the reddish cone flowers and also inserting those and I'm not zip tying these in place because I was able to feed them into some of the branches of the swag without them moving around since I had already zip tied it. And now I'm adding some of those uh, berry type picks in and sticking them up and out of the arrangement to create some height and dimension. The ends of the swag were moving around just a little bit, so I'm adding some additional zip ties. So here's one more look at the centerpiece, and I added a couple more things as you can see. When I went to the Dollar Tree the other day, I found these red pumpkin clips 
There you can see the clip. And since I have some red pumpkins in some picks on my dining room table, I picked up a couple packages of those and I just added them in to this centerpiece. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments down below and please, if you did like my video, give me a big thumbs up. Really helps me let, really helps let me know that you like the content that I'm providing to you. I really want to have a channel that is helpful to all of you and inspires you the way other people have inspired me through their channels. And speaking of other channels, please be sure again to check out all the other participants in this challenge. And thanks again to Crafty Kitty. I look forward to seeing all of you next time. Bye-bye.